Their currency. <laughs> and there's things you see here you can't see anywhere else in the world. I saw a woman chasing after a rat with a butterfly net, and she was going, gonna eat like kings tonight. You see that in Virginia, you call the cops, but you see that here, and you're like, oh. <laughs> She's keto. <laughs> But now we're all vaxxed, waxed, and ready to relax, baby, aren't we? That is the new hot girl summer right there. <laughs> now, I know there's some people who are still nervous about the vaccine. You know, they're worried about the bad side effects, but no one's talking about the good side effects. I don't know if you guys know this, but there's actually one vaccine that makes you grow a second penis. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So guys, get Johnson & Johnson. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I tried to make my husband do that at home. I'm like, rim shot. Mm. Doesn't do the same thing. No, no doesn't have the same effect. No. Uh, the locations to get the vaccine are insane. I got mine in an abandoned Sears. <laughs> I did, I did. I, I had a choice of Pfizer or Kenmore. <laughs> I went with the Kenmore, you know, and I did a two year warranty. <laughs> and uh, my parents got it, my mother got Pfizer, my father got Moderna, so now they think they're in a mixed marriage. <laughs> they're from Boston, that's as good as it gets. <laughs> I didn't know Boston wasn't diverse until I moved here, and now I'm like, oh, in Boston, diversity is white people of different heights. <laughs> uh, got it, got it. <laughs> and it's summertime again, not my season, summer is a ginger winter. This is when my people go inside. Cause I don't tan, I vaporize. You ever walk down a beach and you see like one flip flop or a hair tie? That was a ginger. <laughs> Say a prayer. We've moved on, you know? That's why I never got Game of Thrones. The whitest people in the world all worried about winter is coming, winter is coming. I'm like, that's your season. Go inside, sleep with your sister, enjoy yourself. <laughs> I don't do it. I don't do beaches. Someone invited me to a nude beach. The Irish are not a naked people, you know? This is why we're not killing the porn scene. No one wants to download Brian McFinnigan and touch my shillelagh. It's because there's nothing hot about seeing a circulatory system, you know? You watch an Irish porn like, what is that, two x-rays? Oh, I can see that guy's liver through his stomach. And they opened up their first nude beach in Ireland, too. How does the tourism board sell that? Well, welcome to Ireland. You want to see something gross? <laughs> How do you tell where the sand ends and the people begin? Ah, oh, you look for the nipples. You'll be fine. <laughs> Uh, I, I moved to New Jersey because things are going well. And uh, we, we live down the street from a Chili's because things are going real well. Yes. And in the beginning of the pandemic, Chili's put out a sign that says, Chili's is concerned about your health. And I'm like, no. <laughs> you have a salad that has the word explosion in it. Now you're worried about my health. Okay. The second part of the sign says, and Chili's is concerned about public safety. That's why we're offering curbside margaritas. <laughs> Nothing says health and safety like tequila delivered to the window of your Camry. <laughs> that is not feeling good in the neighborhood right there. It explains Jersey drivers though. The state bird of New Jersey should be a dented Toyota Corolla. <laughs> It is awful. It is every man for themselves, except when it comes time to merge, and we've all seen the sign. Merge coming 1,000 feet. Merge 500 feet. And there's always one jackass that tries to sneak in at the last yeah. minute. Then New Jersey becomes a military unit. We're like, tighten it up. Nope, nope. Don't yeah. let him in. Don't let him in. <laughs> Don't let him in. Hold my hand. Lift. Lift right, lift. <laughs> oh, yeah. An applause break. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. But uh, I've been doing a lot of road trips, and whenever I do, I use the Waze app. Clap it up if you guys have ever used Waze. Yeah, because Google Maps, that's like getting directions from your grandfather, you know? It's like, oh, you want to go to Maine? Well, that'll take you four hours by motor car, eight by stagecoach, 
And if you wanna walk, well, you shoulda left yesterday. But Waze is like getting directions from your friend in the back seat whose edible just kicked in. <laughs> oh, there's a Dunkin' Donuts 2.5 miles from here. <laughs> Do you want me to take you there? I can take you there. You just take a left and you drive through some guy's living room. Oh God, there's cops in 500 feet. Are they still there? 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 Sorry guys, I would have been here two hours ago, but Waze made me go to Philly for the best cheese steak. Uh, I'm about to celebrate 10 years married, coming up, yes. I have renewed the lease, yeah! My husband's cute, he's short, he's bald, his knees don't bend, it's like a married a gingerbread man. And uh, it was a rough pandemic, we ran out of things to say to each other about three months in. I went to the supermarket and grabbed pamphlets for inspiration, I'd come home and be like, so, you wanna talk about mesothelioma? We had to play games to keep things spicy over the last year, you know. Games like, smell this, and does this look like cancer? <laughs> Sexy games like, stop breathing like that. And, oh, you're still here. <laughs> Made me realize married people don't write love songs. You know, you hear a love song, it's like, love you, can't wait to touch you, and want to be around you. And if married people wrote love songs, it'd be, why can't you flush the toilet twice? You're a fucking animal! And that doesn't sell albums, you know? It's not like Grammy of the Year goes to Usher for his song, why did you buy so many goddamn potatoes, girl? You know? Good. But now we're on the other side of this. There's some things I miss about the beginning of this pandemic. You know, every food delivery was like a hostage negotiation. <laughs> you get DoorDash and be like, drop the bag and walk away, man. Just drop the bag. I'll count the money. Leave my burrito, you can have your baby. <laughs> I miss the murder hornets. What happened to them, huh? Yeah. They disappeared faster than Chumbawamba. I don't know. <laughs> Things kept happening and disappearing. Remember that? There were UFOs, they disappeared. There was a monolith. Everything was happening and going away. And I thought, God, is someone time traveling right now? And every time they go back and try to fix something in our past, it would mess up something in the present, you know? <laughs> so they go back in time, they come back, they're like, you guys, you guys, I killed Hitler. Oh shit, Kanye West is running for president? Oh my, I can fix this, I'll be right back. <laughs> Kanye West running for president is proof that we need to stop telling kids anyone can be president when they grow up. <laughs> the news was hot garbage, I couldn't watch it anymore, I, I stopped. The only way I could watch the news is if it was British. Because bad news sounds so much better with a British accent, doesn't it? Oh, I would rather get my news from Idris Elba than Don Lemon. I don't know. It's comforting. I trust a British person. I would have been awful for us in the Revolutionary War. They'd ride through town going, the British are coming, the British are coming. I'd be like, oh, thank God. They'll tell us what to do. <laughs> You could tell me I'm gonna die, I'll be fine with it if you sound like Mary Poppins, you know? <laughs> There's a pandemic that's coming to kill half the world and the other half will be unemployed. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. The next two years of all our lives will only be atrocious. Half of us could not agree on who should be the poetess. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Um, diddle, diddle, we're all gonna die. Hum diddle, diddle, we're all gonna die. Real news. Thank you guys so yeah. much for coming out, yeah. supporting Susie, yeah. and supporting yeah. our live performance. Yeah. You're awesome. Yeah. You are so great. Good job. Yes, Sarah. Good job. Yes. Yes, Erin McGuire. That's right. Look yeah. at her go. Look at her go. There she goes. She's sitting next to her gingerbread man. 